Hello, I am Andy Pomerantz, Technical Services Manager of Philadelphia Gear. This video covers the details of the lubrication components on our right angle pump drive. Approximately 90 degrees off the input shaft is the oil heater, the oil heater thermostat, and the junction box for both. The oil heater maintains a uniform temperature in the gearbox. The thermostat should be set at 70 degrees, which is 10 degrees above your starting permissive point. And the uniform temperature reduces the potential for condensation buildup in the gearbox. Prior to shipment, the thermostat and heater will be wired to the junction box. The gearbox has two oil pumps. One is electric motor driven, the other internal and shaft driven. This is the electric motor driven circuit. Coming from the gear case is the suction line. There's a check valve that always maintains a, a prime at the pump. The pump itself with a coupling and coupling guard and electric motor. On the outlet to the pump, there's a pressure gauge and a safety pressure relief valve to prevent an overpressure of the system. I'm standing in front of the motor driven oil pump and on this side of the gearbox, we're going to talk about the lubrication components. Coming from the discharge of the motor driven pump, we have a second check valve. This second check valve prevents backflow into the motor driven circuit during normal operation. I have a pressure gauge and then two oil filters. The closer filter is for particulate. The further is hydroscopic to remove water from the oil. Each filter has a differential pressure gauge and a pop-up indicator that shows red when the filter elements have to be replaced. I want to point out the ball valves that are before and after the, the filter bank. These ball valves are intended only to be used and shut during maintenance and replacement of the filter elements. They are never to be closed or left closed during operation of the gearbox as it will cause an immediate failure and they should be removed and only installed for maintenance. On this side of the box, we have instruments as well as lubrication components. So we'll talk about these instruments. Up here, I have a temperature detector that reads the upper low speed bearing. On the same pipe is the desiccant breather. This breather filters out the water vapor that is pulled into the gearbox as it cools off after a shutdown and prevents condensation from building up inside the gear. The medium turns red when it's time to change the filter. I also have two temperature detectors down below. The closer one reads the lower low speed bearing temperature. The further reads the sump temperature. All instruments, temperature and pressure are wired into this junction box. I am standing next to the oil filters at their outlet and next to the water to oil cooler. Coming out of the filter bank, we have a temperature gauge and then a bypass valve that directs hot oil into the oil cooler. Cold oil goes directly into the inlet bank. In the, at the inlet bank, we have four switches, two temperature switches with alarm and set down, shutdown set points, a pressure switch with alarm and shutdown, and a pressure switch that controls the operation of the motor driven pump. We also have a flow valve with alarm and shutdown set point and a temperature detector that reads into the control room. Finally, we have the main inlet to the gearbox where the oil is distributed to the bearings and gears through sprays.